<laughs> Good morning. Welcome to day two of Disney. Last night, what happened last night, Elijah? Do you remember? No, he's too too busy. Too busy? We were very tired. We went on a few rides. We were really tired, so we came back, had some dinner, and we actually managed to see the fireworks from the balcony, which was really fun. We're hoping to see them tonight in person. But it was very good. Bye. See you later. He's left me. But today we are going back into the parks. And I am Rapunzel'd up today. So I've got my top that was from Kingdom Threads, I believe. It says, I see the light. And I've also got my got my jumper. It says, it's all so clear and where I'm meant to be from Diz T World, I believe. And I've got my Loungefly Rapunzel bag with my Hannah Marie... Rapunzel is. This cost me a fortune because I found it on eBay. We're having a Rapunzel day today, or at least I am. But yeah, that's that's what's going on. Oh, and my shoes. I'm wearing my multicolored bands. This is what Elijah's wearing today. You're wearing Buzz Lightyear. <gasps> and what, what does it do? Okay. Goes. <gasps> flash, flash, flash. Oh, you're gonna put mummy's ears on. Look at me. Oh, look at you. Elijah, yeah. do you know where we're going today? <laughs> Disneyland in September. Did you, do you know? It is September. Okay. There you go, Dan. Here's your moment of, I don't know. Oh, that's not a very good place to stand. This is all I can see. <laughs> stand over there. Come on, show us what you're wearing. I, I'm surprised I've been invited back to do the segment after the last time. <laughs> This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Elijah. 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 You just that little water. What you what what are you wearing today? Peace. You come in peace. Yeah, he's got his Buzz Lightyear top, haven't you? I'm Buzz Lightyear. Good chat. Nice little morning stroll. Can't see anything. Oh, oh the I'm not here. He's invisible. Newport Bay Club <laughs> in the distance. And that is the New York Marvel Hotel over there. And there's. I don't know if you can see him. Little guy. Can you see the big balloon? If I don't go and become Thunder Mountain this trip, I will cry. It might be quite nice to go on that boat as well. There's some little cocoa things around. Forty-five. Really cool. Oh, what's Peter Pan? Forty-five. Do you want to do this or Peter Pan first? Don't mind. I don't know. I mean, let's do Peter Pan because it's gonna get busy around today. Indecisiveness at its best. Don't accuse me of indecisiveness. I'm decisive in that I know where I want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> You need to find Adventureland. There you go, Adventureland. Oh, Dad's got his map out. That's how you do with Disney, with your map. Mapity map 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 map. 
<laughs> um, it's by Pirates of the Caribbean, isn't it? But there's the castle. Oh, such a shame that's not in the Yeah. Oh, that's a Swiss, Swiss family Robertson tree. That is Mr. Fredrickson. Mr. Fredrickson, can I come in? No. Dancing like that when we're on it. Is it not open? No, that's not. Shut, I think. What a shame. I really that one. Can you guess what ride we're going on? Oh, it's so bright. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Bye, Jan. This will definitely not be the last time you see me in this vlog but I thought I would pop in and just put a few more puzzles in the mix so it all adds up together and all makes sense. Also don't mind the blank photo frames, I am in the middle of changing things up. So after we finished the Peter Pan ride we were nearly close to lunch but not quite so we thought let's do the boat, let's do the Thunder Mesa river boat because we don't want to go on the rides and you know, have to queue for ages and then miss lunchtime, especially for the little guy. So we decided we'll go through Adventureland and Frontierland, which is where Adventureland was where we saw Captain Hook and Mrs. Me. Go through Frontierland and go on the boat, wait for the boat. It was like a 10 minute wait and it was maybe a 10 minute boat ride. I'm not entirely sure, but it was, it was fun nevertheless. I've only ever been on that boat once before and that was when we went to Disneyland Paris when I was four. So I don't remember much of it. The only things I really remember are from photos and videos and stuff, but the only thing I do remember is that it was much bigger when I was younger, but I am much bigger now that I'm old, older, so that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is us on the Thunder Mesa River, but, or at least waiting to begin with. Where's Grandad? He's over here, Daddy. I'm sure it was just a single. Yeah, we're going to go on the boat. He's going to go round and around. Don't touch it. Can you see yourself? It's reading the ladies' letters on their t-shirt. Just step, please. We've lost 
Dad and Dan. Found Dan. Lost Dad. Oh no, found them both. Wow, can you see through? Wow, Niger, what are we on? <laughs> are we on a pirate ship? Wow. loved the fairy gardens absolutely loved them i just thought they were such a lovely addition to the disney parks well disney park it was only in the main park disneyland park but i just thought it was a really cute addition um that they put in for the 30th anniversary and i kind of hope that they keep it in the parks longer than the 30th anniversary but i don't know if they will but i really really liked them and um, every time we went in there and i saw them i was like oh they're just so good especially my favorite characters my favorite was pascal in the dress like that's just an absolute classic and kevin from up the fact that they had kevin from up was just elite it was amazing right so then the next bit is a bit of a blur to me because some of the days just merged into one and i don't really remember what happened but i think i remember so bear with me so after we had lunch we had a packed lunch it wasn't like we didn't buy lunch from anywhere we brought it with us we went to frontierland and we went on big thunder big thunder mountain my favorite ride i love it was amazing, uh, much more intense than I remember it being actually. The last time we went on it was in 2018, so four years ago. I loved it then and I think I forgot over the four years how intense it really was and how fast it was because, oh my gosh, it's intense. It's fast, but it's so much fun. So yeah, we went on that. It was about a 50 minute wait, I think. It was quite a long wait, but it meant that there was enough time for my nephew to fall asleep and have a nap, which was good. Then the next bit is all a bit of a blur, so I think we met up with my mum and my brother and my sleeping nephew and we went to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I completely forgot that there was three dips. There were three... What are they called? The... I don't remember. Yeah, I completely forgot there was three. There's a really small one and then there's two somewhat big ones. So I forgot about that. And it was really fun. Love that ride. And then after Pirates, I think we walked back to the castle, went to Main Street. I oh no i think i remember what happened i think we split up so myself my mum and dad and my brother we went to the cable car bake shop the little like kiosk bit um in front of the main shop on main street we went there and got some snacks i got a mickey beignet filled with nutella i'll put a picture here of what it looks like it was very nice very filling i didn't manage to eat it all but it was very nice i think because i'd had lunch as well i wasn't like hugely hungry but i needed something a little bit sweet so yeah it was good and then i think my sister and her husband went to casey's to get a hot dog but they're very i don't know if this is the same in any other disney park but in the french one they're very um particular with like customizing your order so you can't really have a meal and like take things off of it like condiments or like in a burger you can't take the cheese off of it or the tomato or you know the salad -y bits you can't do that which made it a little bit difficult unless you're in a restaurant i think but like the quick service places you can't make adjustments so they didn't get a hot dog and i think they got something from the bake shop as well and then we stayed outside the bake shop we met up and the parade was just about to start. The, um, I always forget what it's called. Bear with me. Let me look it up. The 30th anniversary parade. So the parade is called Dream and Shine Brighter. And it is on four times during the day, I believe. Every time we got into the park, it was on. So I think it was around like 10 o'clock, maybe. I want to say like 10, 12, 2, 4. I think that's a guess, but it could be a very good guess. We sat on Main Street and watched the parade. 
but that parade is slightly different to the main parade because what they do is they start at the very top of Main Street and they go all the way down Main Street and then they split off round the hub. They go like the different floats go round it on both sides and then the characters get out of their floats and they stand on the little stages in the middle of the hub. So if you're watching it from Main Street, you can watch the parade go down before the main bit of the parade and then go back up afterwards, but you can't really see the main hub bits. So that's just a tip. We did try and follow the crowd. We did try and follow the floats um, as they were going to the main hub, but it just got so crowded and we were just like, We'll watch it another day. So then I think we went to Discovery World. Oh no, sorry, Discovery Land. And went on Buzz again, I think. We we went on Buzz a lot. My nephew loved Buzz Lightyear ride. We might have gone on some other rides as well. I don't really remember, to be honest with you. Oh, but that's another thing. On that parade, the Dream and Shine Brighter Parade, Rapunzel's on the parade. And as she went past me, she saw my ears, because I was wearing Rapunzel ears. And it was so exciting, it was such a precious moment. I didn't get it on camera, unfortunately. But she like saw my ears and she smiled at me and waved at me and I was like, oh my gosh. And then, so after we went on some rides after the parade, we decided, right, we're gonna have dinner, but the main parade, Disney Stars and Parade was about to happen. So we plonked ourselves where the parade finishes. So on Main Street at the very top. And this is what you're about to see now. But keep an eye out for Rapunzel. She spots me again, she sees me again and she appreciates my outfit just watch out for that when she comes past but yeah here's the parade here's the disney stars on parade um obviously to different music because of copyright reasons so yeah oh, <laughs> hi it's so sunny isn't it yeah, so sunny. Oh, don't touch it with your grubby hands. Well, don't touch it with your grubby it hands. Pretty much on half past. Yes. By the time we came out, it was almost six o'clock. So I reckon it takes a good twenty minutes to get And that is the end of Disney Day 2. Or at least the end of everything I've filmed on Disney Day 2. After the parade, we went straight to Planet Hollywood in the Disney Village. The best thing we could have done is gone straight there. I know if you've got kids, you know, trying to get them back in their push chairs or trying to like gather them all together and then go off to get dinner can be a bit of a kerfuffle and can take a little bit of time. But we already had Elijah in his push chair. We went straight to Planet Hollywood and they were empty. We went in, we sat down, and then after like maybe 10, 20 minutes, more and more and more and more people came in, and it was packed by the time we left. So Planet Hollywood, if you didn't know, is actually shutting down. 
not entirely sure when i think it's all to do with the disney village makeover and everything i don't know they'll probably get different a different restaurant in and different places to eat but that could be why it's um leaving with planet hollywood they don't have paper menus anymore they might have had drink ones but not paper ones and basically there's qr codes on the table and you scan those with your phone and it brings up the menu on the internet i had a barbecue chicken burger without the cheese because I can't eat cheese. One of the best things that they actually do at Planet Hollywood, which I think they personally should do this in every restaurant that sells burgers, they put all of their fillings on the side. So like the tomato, the lettuce, the pickle, the onion, things like that. They put them all on the side of your plate so you can decide what you want to put in it and you can build it yourself, which I think is great because I don't eat those things in the middle. don't think they're needed at all. So I really like that aspect of Planet Hollywood. And then they give you fries. So it's a mixture of like crinkle cut fries and the hashtag kind of fries. I don't know what they're called. And just your general French fries, to be honest. Oh, and curly fries. I love curly fries. And then for dessert, I had the vegan chocolate cake, which is really nice, actually. It comes with a raspberry sorbet on top. Also, just as a heads up for Planet Hollywood, if anyone is planning to go before they shut down, is very loud very loud the music is literally on full volume first time we went was in 2018 and we sat at the top and this time we sat down in the bottom i think both times the music was just so loud and so for your kids it might be too loud i think we had to put Elijah's ear defenders on and i was so tired i just wanted to go to bed but this music was giving me a headache and i just couldn't concentrate and i just wasn't like wasn't my happy self um in disney anyway just a heads up the music is so loud so loud but yeah it's just a little extra just just so you're aware the music is very loud once we finished eating we left planet hollywood did a little photo shoot with my dad wearing my rapunzel ears which my nephew wasn't very happy about he kept saying that auntie becca's granddad come on and then we split off from my sister and her husband they went back and put elijah to bed and we went around and did some shopping in the disney village and then once we did a bit of looking around shopping around we went back to the apartment because it was quite late and we wanted to go to sleep that's that we didn't watch the fireworks i don't remember if we watched them from our apartment or not we might have done we might not have done I don't remember. So yeah, that's Disney Day 2. Done and dusted. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button to see day 3, day 4, day 5. And to see the day 1 if you haven't seen it already. I'll also put a link down to my sister's videos as well because she was vlogging the trip. She probably got a bit more footage than I did. So it might be interesting to see that. But yeah, that's it. Hope you liked it. I will see you in the day 3 video. Bye!